Whether it's a promotional ad or a short film, character animations are one of the powerful ways to express your ideas to your audience. But it comes with a lot of complications, especially when you are starting out in character animation, and that is when you need a good roadmap, from initial conceptualization to the final animation. And to solve this problem in this video, I'm going to share with you my entire character animation workflow for this short animation clip that I have created. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it. So first, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator and check out the illustration process. So I start my illustration with a rough sketch to get a visual representation. In Illustrator, I first created multiple layers of each part of the illustration to stay organized overall from the very beginning. Then I started illustrating the main components of the scene to check if it's going in the right direction or not. In this case, I first designed the boat with shapes using the shape tool and the paint tool. And then the character. While designing the limbs, I used different shapes for each joints with the round overlap, for the arm, forearm and hand, and even for different parts of the legs, to make the character more rigging friendly. So this was the initial design of the character riding a boat. I was happy with it, so I started adding colors. Here I wanted a chilling vibe in the illustration. At the same time, I wanted the character to stand out in this frame. So based on that, I picked my color palettes. By the way, if you're struggling to get the perfect color palette for your illustrations or animation projects, then I would highly recommend you to go through this Adobe Color website. They have a huge collection of different types of color palettes for you to try out. Now back to the illustration. So once I was happy with the color combination, I started designing the foreground and the background elements and gradually added more details to the illustration. And this is the final design I ended up with. Now let's jump into the layer separation process. In this process, first I divided the illustration into three different files. One for the foreground, one for the mid-crown and one for the background. So for the character, I have separated pretty much every joint in a separate layer. For the foreground elements, I kept the stones in a separate layer. And for the background element, I have separated the bushes and the tree trunk shapes in a different layer. Okay, now let's jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process. We're going to rig the character with Twig Angular plugin. Let's start with rigging the arms. So create arm structures and reposition the structure layers. Then parent the illustration layers with its structure layers and select the structure layers and auto rig. And it's rigged. Following the same process for legs, but this time I'm selecting the leg structure layers. It's time to rig the body. Add four puppet pins, convert these pins into bone layer, and rename it as hip, spine, chest, and neck. So inside the head composition, we're going to add some puppet pins on the hat layer so that we can add some distortion later on. And then convert some of the pins into bone layers, the ones we actually want to animate. And then rename the layers to stay organized. And then parent the bone layers into a chain like this. Now let's parent the thigh layer with the hip layer and the arm structure layer with the chest layer. Then we're going to parent the neck bone layer with the chest, chest with the spine, spine with the hip. The neck illustration layer, first we're going to move the anchor point from somewhere we want to rotate this neck. Let's parent it with the neck bone layer and parent head with the neck. And now the whole body is rigged. All right, now let's parent the other boat layers with the main boat body. Then parent the hip layer and the hand and the leg controllers with the boat and then parent the over layer with the hand controller and here there is a shape mat layer which we are going to use as an alpha mat all right so now let's jump into the animation process so i started the character animation by only animating the hands in the linear keyframe and then i adjusted the timing and the motion craft editor so that it looks like the character is slamming the water while pushing forward. And then I used ease copy to copy the motion graph from the X position property and paste it on the Y position and the rotation property. And I have also added a loop expression previously so that it animates in a loop. And then I have animated the hip, spine, chest and the neck bone layers that we have added in the rigging process following the same timing of the hand animation and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through in the character animation. Then I have animated the oar with the same timing as the hand which is driving the boat forward. 
After that, I have also animated the shape path property of the oar and the blades to get that flip animation like this. And then animated the boat layer with the same timing as the body layer to sync the animation with the character. And then I have added a shape layer and animated the shape path property which acts as an alpha mat that hides the extra portion of the ore blade that is submerged inside the water. And also have used a ruler over here to properly denote from where exactly I want to submerge the blade inside the water. And later on, I have added another shape layer and animated the shape path property to get these water waves. And finally, this is how it looks. To add more detailing to the hat, I have also added some rotation keyframes on these bone layers that we have added in the rigging process and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. And then I finally started adding the water waves layer. So first I added a rectangle ship and then applied an wave warp effect and adjusted the settings of height and the width and the wave direction. To add some variation on the wave animation, I have also added a wiggle expression on the wave height. And gradually, I started adding more wave layers by adding a shape layer and applying wave warp effect and playing with the settings a bit. Now it is time to animate the background and the foreground elements. So the character is supposed to be in a 3D environment and we are working on a 2D environment in After Effects. And to add some scene depth, we have to add some Pallex effect. Now for this case, the foreground trees are moving faster compared to the water waves. The water waves are moving faster compared to the bushes and the bushes are moving faster compared to the background trees. By the way, if you want to learn Pallex effect in more details, then I have a separate tutorial on it. You can check it out from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Now that the overall animation is done, it's time for the final touch up. So I have started adding some shades that was there in the illustration. So some shades under the arm layer and some shades under the leg layers and some other shadows casting due to some objects. So I have started adding those shades in the animation using the shape layers and animating the shape path property and properly syncing it with the character animation. Once it was done, I have also added a little water splash when the character is slamming the ore on the surface of the water. So for that, I have added one circle shape layer and animated the position and the scale property and then duplicated it multiple times and offset the layers. And this is how it finally turns out. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you learned something new from this video which you can use in your future projects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.